So tonight I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own raw vegan chocolate bar. Um, basically a healthy alternative to any store-bought chocolate bar you might buy. So let's take a look at what we got here. Um, so we got some raw organic cacao powder. Um, we got some raw cacao butter. I'll show you guys what the cacao butter looks like. Basically just like blocks of butter and uh, actually just put some on a hot water bath so here's the the melted version on, on low heat. Um, so I'm going to add my cacao powder to that melted butter as well as some uh, coconut nectar. You can also use maple syrup or any sweetener you want. Um, I'm going to go a bit uh, going to go a bit super health nut and uh, throw in some dandelion leaf powder in there. Some ashwagandha root powder in there. Some rhodiola rosea root powder in there. Hoshu Wu powder and some red raspberry leaf powder as well as a bit of cinnamon. I um, also got some chaga that I just ground up here um, that I'm going to throw in there as well. And then uh, for the toppings I got two dried red bananas. I got a bunch of Brazil nuts that I'm going to chop up. Some manuka raisins. And then I got some shredded coconut that I'm going to throw in there as well. So um, let's get started. Alright, so as I said, we got the melted cacao butter here. The first thing I'm going to do is just grab some cacao powder. Probably put three or four spoons, of, small spoons of this. I guess these are bigger than teaspoons. Definitely want it to be chocolatey. Alright, so next up we're going to add the red raspberry leaf powder. Just doing a little bit of each herb here. All to do is probably about a teaspoon. Do the rhodiola rosea. This is an anti-anxiety uh, root herb. You can make tea out of it. It's good for cheering you up. Next we got the ho shu wu. This is a good kidney herb. Chinese herb. As well, tastes very earthy. We got some ashwagandha root powder, which is like somewhat of an aphrodisiac, apparently. Boosts your libido. Got a bit of that, and then finally, dandelion leaf powder. Now since cacao is pretty bitter, you don't really notice the flavor of any of these things, so it's not like it tastes like crazy different than normal chocolate. So if you guys do want to experiment with some herbs, I, I do recommend it. I'm, uh, I guess I'll put cinnamon on top. I'm just going to throw in a bit of coconut nectar as a sweetener. You guys, like I said, you can use maple syrup or whatever you got. It's plenty right there. And then uh, finally we're just going to add the, the ground up chaga here, chaga mushroom. So now that we got that all in, we're just going to give it a good mix, make sure it blends well, because you don't want chunks, you want to be as smooth as possible. And it looks like I might have to add more cacao powder, so... I'll just get another spoon and do that. So I think this is six spoons, six little spoons here. I'll just do one more. You want it to be not super liquidy when you're stirring it. It should have a bit of resistance and uh, this just seemed to be quite liquidy. So this is what it looks like when it's all stirred up together. It's fairly smooth. There's still some minor chunks but I'm not too worried about that. Alright, so I've got my cacao butter mixture laid down in a pan with a uh, parchment paper there. I'm just going to add all of these ingredients that I chopped up to the top. And uh, yeah, I'm going to add some coconut and some cinnamon as well as some of these cacao nibs. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So here it is. I just got to add uh, some cacao nibs and sprinkle on a bit of cinnamon. A 
little sprinkle of cinnamon all over the place. Cinnamon is awesome. It's also really good for digestion. I'd say that should do. And there you have it. Um, I'm just going to let this sit on the counter overnight and it should basically harden up like a chocolate bar and then you can break it off and enjoy. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.